Review time in World of Tanks with your host, Dangerously Incompetent. This episode, the Constructor T-34-100, Czechoslovakian Tier 7 medium tank. This tank is described as an upgunned and up-turreted T-34, according to Wargaming. Well, that's definitely the T-34 hull there. It looks almost exactly the same. And then that turret, still the familiar coffin shape, and it looks quite a lot uglier, so that's probably, probably up turret, more armour on there. And that gun, definitely bigger. But wait, what's this? A telegraph pole mounted on the side? Is that the telltale si sign of an awesome Soviet era tank? Maybe, but aren't they usually mounted across the rear? not mounted across the side. Hmm, is that a fake telltale? Are they a wargaming trying to fake us out? Find out by watching the rest of my review. I've done an armour grind, which you may have seen already, but go watch that if you want more details on the armour. On paper, 45 mils on the hull all the way round, nicely sloped, well, that's the same armour as, as, as the T-34, which is very nice armour at Tier 5, but this is Tier 7. 45 mils on the side, that's par for the course for a medium, really, but the front, 45 on that big front hull upper plate, that's not enough. That is below average. You're very weak there. Everyone's going to shoot you and penetrate you on your front on the hull. But you wait. You say, wait, you say, I'm a medium tank, I shall rush into position, get hull down, and only expose my up-turreted turret with its extra armour. Well, I've got bad news for you there. 90 mils of armour, that's up from the T-34, but it's slightly below average for a Tier 7 medium. And that 90 mils is only around here on the front. It's nicely sloped on the rest of it, great but it's got big old coupler for a weak spot at 90 mils and then gun mantlet 80 mils over 90 great spaced armor that should be good no no it's not there's a whacking great big hole in the armor behind the mantlet so you've only got 80 mils of armor on this area here around the gun yep that's right the bit of armor that you have to present to the enemy in order to shoot them it's just awful great big whacking great big weak spot in the place where you want your turret, your armour to be the strongest. Overall, this armour is poor. Maneuverability. When I first got this tank and played the first game I played it, it was so sluggish. I thought, right, that's it. Straight into spending free XP, upgrade the engine, upgrade the tracks. Didn't make any difference. The increase from the base engine to your top engine, 20 horsepower. Nothing. Increase in your track traverse from 36 on the base to 38 on the top one. Not much. Not worth spending free XP on. And it doesn't make much difference. Well, yeah, the power doesn't go up much. And that's a real pain because the power cripples this tank. Your terrain resistances are actually slightly better than average for a tier 7 medium. But you've got a low specific power of 15.14 and that really knackers you. Hill climbing, that's poor. No acceleration, up power, no grunt to get you up the hill. Acceleration from a standing start, that's poor. So peak -a boom you're spending a long time pushing out of cover. Take your shot pull back you get shot before you're back inside cover maneuverability when you're dogfighting no that's poor just low engine power you've did traverse and your terrain resistance is all right but they're just crippled by the low power you're just so sluggish this tank is not what you want in a medium flexibility okay you've got a decent top speed but to get it you've either got to go downhill or on the flat on a hard surface Going around soft terrain, going up hills, yeah, you're not going to hit 54. So that makes flexing, getting from one side of the, the map to the other, a slog, and you're slow. So, ooh, 
maneuverability, which is what you the medium tank is counting on, it's not there. Your maneuverability is poor. Guns. Well, it's got a big gun. Maybe that's its saving grace. You've got two guns. First gun is poor. It's tiny. Rate fire ain't great. The DPM ain't great. And it doesn't do a lot of damage. So you want to get to this gun. Big old 100mm as soon as you can. Rate of fire, that's on the low side. Well, it is a large caliber. And you are a medium tank. Penetration, that's good. With heat, your penetration goes up to 250. That's pretty good. Damage, 250. That's pretty good as well. Then it comes accuracy. Uh, 0.38, not so good. 2.4 aiming time. That's poor. That's really bad news. Snapshotting with this gun. You've got to be really close in order to hit somebody. Long distance sniping. You've got to aim for 2.5 seconds. Get to get your maximum accuracy to stand any chance of hitting them and even then you're not going to hit vulnerables even at medium range you're not going to hit vulnerables with this accuracy you've got to hope, aim for their side and hope you hit it rather than the tracks or sail above the heads so despite it having good penetration good damage that would make it an okay gun if you could use it in close quarters but you can't really use it in close quarters you don't have the armor and you don't have the maneuverability so although the gun's okay in this tank its performance is poor other stats hit points they're okay view range that's okay with optics and a good crew you can get to 440 or you can stick in binocular telescopes for if you're really going for that passive that passive spotting signal range meh I mean well it's okay it's great 525 that's plus your friends 500 odd and that's the whole map you don't really need to bother with the top radio camouflage rating ooh question mark question mark question mark it's actually okay it's not a it's not great because it's not a very small tank, but it's not a big tank either, so your, your camera ratings are okay. Turret speed, that's pretty good. But coupled with the sluggishness of the 38 degrees which, tra track traverse, which sounds good, but you, you don't really get it. So brawling, uh, turning that track when, when that light tank is circling of death you. Uh, What did I run with? Well, initially I ran with my crew from the previous tier six medium, which had six, uh, not six, yeah, it has six sands and it has brothers in arms and the other usual mediums, skills, snapshot, except I went for clutch braking to get the track traverse up. But coming to this tank, you've got an extra crew member, which, well, that buggered up my brothers in arms and then running with those usual medium tank skills and I ran with gun rammer optics and vents I went for vents straight away because I looked at the accuracy and thought oh that needs help it needs a lot of help and I put in Bukti the checks of the vacuum ration pack for 10,000 time 10, 000, costing you 10,000 credits a battle but that that, all told, got me a win rate, and playing like a medium, got me a win rate of 40%. That's right, bot levels, embarrassingly bad, for, as for the first 100 odd battles. So, I changed tack. I stopped playing like a medium tank, and played like a support tank instead. And by support tank, I mean, that's code for, hanging around at the back, while other people are up front dying, doing the dying. You get complained at a lot for doing that, but that's what I did. And for the last 100 odd battles, I managed a 63% win rate, which dragged my overall win rate up to 53%. Okay, then I had the bonus of having my crew back up to 100% and having all the upgrade equipment upgrades, but I took out the buck team because it just seemed it wasn't doing any help, wasn't doing the business, and at 10,000 times, that's a lot of money. 
and I changed my equipment to gun lane drive, get that aiming time down. Kept the vents for the initial accuracy for snapshots when I'm close to people and I took out the optics and put in binocular telescopes because when you're tier, in a tier 9 battle you're totally hopeless so I went for passive spotting all the way because your view range is actually alright especially with a good 100% crew and binoculars you get up to 480 so you're pretty good at spotting if you can get to that that critical bush without being seen which is a bit difficult because your mobility and the acceleration and your speed aren't great but doing all that oh and putting camouflage on my crew doing all that got my win rate up I'm playing like a sport tank so I would recommend six cents camouflage Enhanced gun laying drive, binocular telescopes, vents for when you when you get stuck into brawling and you've got no option but to brawl. But you might want to consider not having that and putting in the camouflage net and just playing like doing either spotting or playing like a TD. And Bucky, well, yeah, it's your choice. Depends whether you're credit rich or not or credit poor. Let's compare this tank to its tier 7 brethren. The Panther, the German. More DPM, better gun handling, more armour. Nicer tank, because you can hit things with your gun and penetrate them and shoot them lots, and yay! T20, the American, has a lower DPM, but its rest of its gun stats are much better. Its gun handling is much better. Everything else is much the same. So the T20 can actually brawl because it's got the gun for it. So the T20 slightly better. The T34 slash one dash one, not slash one, the Chinese knockoff of the T34. Well, that really is an upgunned and up turreted T34. Okay, the hull's smaller and lower because they rearranged that a lot, but the turret, oh, that turret's got a turret to die for. It's got huge amounts of armour, it's total dome, great, totally troll, it'll bounce tier 9 heavies and TDs quite happily, you get it hull down, you're laughing until the artillery drops one on you, but it's got a huge strength in that troll turret, much better, and the gun, slightly worse handling, but slightly more damage, T34-1, much better tank, oh, I love that tank. Comet. Now the Comet it really is a medium's medium. Its gun is okay. It's got higher DPM, lower damage, but better better handling and faster rate of fire. Its armour is slightly better, especially on the turret, on the front of the turret, which is where you need it to be better. Maneuverability is okay and it's better than this tank. And its armour, yeah, better. It's okay. Everything's okay about the Comet, and it wraps it up into a nice package, a nice medium package. You can brawl, you can sport, you can crest fight, you can flex. Great medium, this is the Comet. Much better tank. KV-13. Better DPM. Bit more armour. Bit slower. Overall, slightly better than this tank. But not so good against the rest of them. So overall, against his brethren, it's performing poorly. How did I play this tank as a support tank? You have to play this tank as a support tank. It is not a medium. As a medium, you're either relying on bits of your armour to be great, specifically the turret, the front of the turret, in order to bounce shots if you're getting close or if you're playing peek boom you're relying on your acceleration, your maneuverability this tank doesn't have that either even flexibility, it's got decent top speed but you're not getting to it 
very fast and if it's uphill pff, forget it your flexibility ain't great so you can't even get uh, use that medium tank strength getting one side of the map to the other it's not there you can't act as a medium and the only thing way you can avoid taking damage is to not be seen so that leaves support being second line letting other people look go up front and do the spotting and do the fighting and do the dying while you sit at the back shooting away and your gun ain't that accurate so you're not that good at that either but it's the only thing you can do apart from maybe passive spot there's an active spot forget it your view range is okay but your maneuverability ain't there so you've got to get to decent places decent bushes and you've got to do it before the enemy lights get to their positions and spot you in while you're moving. You've got to get to those passive spot, spotting bushes and then passive spot, which is what I tend to do in a tier 9 battle when you're in a tier 7 medium anyway. And I take the occasional shot when you're sure you're not going to be seen. So every individual aspect gun, armour, manoeuvrability they're all poor, there are no strengths to this tank, there's nothing you can play to like the the, the T-34-1 it's rubbish all round apart from its troll turret but that's its strength and that's what you play to and that's what gives you a decent win rate with the thing or what you hope for in a medium the Comet, everything's okay and you, you've got a nice pa overall package it doesn't have that, everything's poor apart from maybe the gun which is okay but you can't use the gun because you don't have armor and you don't have maneuverability and you don't have accuracy so you can't use that gun to make it okay the performance of the gun coupled with this tank is poor that being said everything's poor not atrocious it's not a complete donkey but it's not good you don't want to play this tank Overall, this tank gets a dangerously incompetent thumbs down.